To our breaking news alert from the top of the show, a very serious accident involving a car and what appears to be a fire truck in Kanawha County. Right, happening right now on Corridor G. Let's get back to Matt Lackritz now, who is joined with the South Charleston Fire Chief to give us an update on what has taken place. Hi uh, guys, yeah, I'm standing here with South Charleston Fire Chief Virgil White. Thank you so much for taking a moment just to tell us what's going on. What can you tell us about this accident? About 10 after 4, we had crews responding to a car wreck with entrapment off of Quarter G. While one of my engines was responding to the crash, they was involved in the crash themselves. Do we know anything about just how it happened? We don't know yet. We have the Sheriff's Department. They're en route to do a reconstruction to see exactly what was going on to cause the crash. So I don't have any of that information. How are you guys doing all right? That I don't know. Um, I had one firefighter entrapped in the fire engine, which Charleston Fire and other crews from my department helped extricate. We've transported all three of our firefighters to local hospitals for evaluation. And the person in the other vehicle that was involved in the accident, they was transported also to the hospital. So what comes next for you guys? I mean, I'm absolute massive response out here just to make sure you guys are doing all right. Yeah, everybody would tragedy strikes like this everybody bands together so we've got uh, been reached out by other departments in the county so we'll be leaning on them for support and assistance i know it hasn't really been that long since this all happened but to the people who are watching at home right now seeing this live what do you think they need to know and take away the biggest thing is whenever you see emergency vehicles with lights and sirens pull over and move out of the way because it does make for a dangerous situation. Is there any idea right now just kind of how this happened? We don't know how it happened. Um, like I said, the Sheriff's Department will be doing a reconstruction, so they'll be able to put the pieces to the puzzle together. And I know, again, they've just been transported, but can you tell us anything maybe about the severity of those injuries? I don't know the severity of the injuries. I wasn't close to them when they were being uh, extricated out of the fire engine and uh, being treated by the medics. I was staying out of the way as the incident commander and letting everybody do their job. Well, Chief Foy, thank you again just for taking the time to talk to us. Is there just anything else that you want the people to know? No, there's nothing at this time. Just keep us in your prayers and we hope everything goes well. Thank you again. I appreciate you taking right. the time. Thank you. Well, there you hear it. We're going to stay on out here, continue to get updates just from everybody here on scene. But you heard it from the chief himself. We're still trying to find out more details and hopefully learn a bit more just about how severe those injuries are. Mm. Has to be a very difficult situation. You heard uh, Chief White there uh, being so strong, coming up to Matt, talking, giving a, a lot of urgency and immediacy. But those are his his crew, that's, that's his guys, crew yeah. uh, in there. So you'd imagine there's an emotional element to the scene as well. For him. Uh, yes, but I mean, this this all happening at this very moment and, and the crash itself within probably the, the last 30 minutes, but learning this was while crews were responding to another call uh, that they were involved in this crash. And, and as you can see from Matt's video, I mean, just oh. both of these cars just uh, it totaled um, in, in this. And we do know three of the firefighters taken to the hospital and the other person that was involved in the other car taken to the hospital as well. As soon as we learn updates on how they're doing, we will make sure to share those with you in our newscast and also on WSAC.com. Avoid that area right Absolutely. now.